So Stephen, firstly, we've had the international break. Has it done you good? Yeah, I think so. Um, it's given us more time to work on things. Um, it's got more people fit and more you know, training time under their belt as well. So you know, we've got, a, I'd say, a Jonah and John Abiga. Um, we've, we've got a fully fit squad to, to pick from. And Jonah's only maybe 10 days away. So we're getting there. We've done some really good work. We give the boys a couple of days off in between to refresh their minds and mentally as well and their bodies. And we're ready to go. And the three lads who went away for international duty, they've come back okay? Yeah, well, Alfie's not back yet. Um, he won't be back until tomorrow, unfortunately. Um, so we, we think they've all come back unscathed um, and, and ready to go and hopefully better for the experience. Yeah, you must be really pleased with Alfie because he made his international full debut, didn't he? Yeah, it's a great country to play for as well, you know, so it's not delighted for him. He, he done very well as well, you know, and it was a, it was a young, young squad they put out against Estonia and got a good result. So all that's part of Alfie's development and the younger players' development, different style of football, different pace of the game, which probably suits Alfie, where, you know, it's more technical side of the game and a bit frantic in League One on occasions. So great experience for all the boys, you know, just to be involved, different voices, different coaches and, and different experience. You say it's been positive, though, but... On the back of that Sheffield Wednesday brilliant win, was there not a bit of you thinking, can we just play again really quickly? <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't think we played particularly well against Sheffield Wednesday. Uh, 60 minutes onwards we did. Um, no, I think you know, it was a real hectic introduction. Uh, you know, the club's been on a bit of a whirlwind since we came in, in terms of signings, in terms of structure, in terms of you know, linking up with Lancaster University with the training ground. So it's been non-stop. So I think the coaching staff needed a break more than anybody, but we're all raring to go again. We've had a great week's training, real positivity around the place. And as I say, I've got real selection problems now. And massive games, weren't they? Sheffield Wednesday, it was North End before that in the Cup. With no disrespect, Wimbledon is more sort of your bread and butter League One game, isn't it? The sort of game that you just need to be looking to win full stop. Yeah, well, I've, I've watched Wimbledon numerous times now. Um, they're a good side. They're very well coached, you can tell that. And, you know, they change formations. They've got some very good individuals. I, I think they're a similar team to ourselves. But these are the games that really matter. Your Sheffield Wednesdays and Ipswiches, they're bonus results. These are the results that, that really count in the, the season at the end of it. What about Cole Stockton, nominated for League One Player of the Month? He's made quite an impression already, hasn't he? He certainly has. Um, you know, when I first came in, it was all extremely new what we were asking him to do, things he'd maybe been, not been asked to do before in terms of the work ethic and the pressing. But um, I think we're the, the third best pressers in the league with end product to it as well. So, you know, he's certainly benefited from that. He's, he's been terrific his hold up play. He's a great boy around the place as well. And, and he knows he needs to continue to work hard and play well with, with Jonah and, and hopefully John coming back to fitness. But he's led the line brilliantly and, and some of his goals have been fantastic, fantastic finishes. Yeah, he said himself that he thought he'd come on this season. Obviously, last season was a breakthrough for him in terms of the sheer number of goals he scored. But he said himself that since you've come in, he, he's moved on another level. I think his, um, his understanding of the game, you know, he's, you can coach all you want. If people don't want to learn or they don't want to take things on board, you're, you're wasting your time. You know, Cole and all the boys here, they want to learn, they want to get better and he's certainly reaping the rewards and, and long may that continue. Yeah, but the challenge is, I guess, that he starts getting recognised, he's seen as a real threat and he gets properly targeted during games. If you keep doing interviews like this, yeah, <laughs> um, that's football. You know, he deserves the recognition. He deserves to be nominated for Player of the Month because he's earned the right. And that's a, you know, that you just have to accept that when you're you're at a, a club that has to sell players. You know, everyone's got a price. Unfortunately, everybody's got a price, and that's just something you live with and accept. It doesn't make your life any easier, but it, it's something that we're well. I'm very, very used to working at Motherwell that the better players tend to leave if the price is right. But we've we've got a good board here, and. If someone bids under the, the valuation we have, they don't sell. And they've, they've been adamant with that in, in any business that we've done so far that I've been involved with. One person you did have to sell is Sam Lavelle. This is the first game without him being involved. Does his departure change things much for you in terms of style, personnel, that sort of thing? No, not at all. Um, to be honest, I envisaged it happening. There was whispers and there was rumours, there was phone calls. Nobody met our valuation. And again, credit to the board, they got a... a, a Absolutely fantastic deal for a boy that's out of contract in seven months. You know, Sam made it very clear to the football club he wasn't going to sign what we classed as a very good contract for Morecambe. And you know, you have to hold your hands up and say the boy wanted to move on. He was very good for the football club. We have to acknowledge that. A very good captain. And you know, but everybody's replaceable. It's we've got boys in the building um, who have been frustrated from not playing, and, and now it's time for them to step up. So finally, has the message to the lads been? You've had a bit of a break, we've made a brilliant start, but we've got to go again now. 
Yeah, it's only a start. That's all it is. Um, I, I keep repeating, we go in five game blocks. We are where we thought we would be. Um, now the chance is to, to kick on from that, to build on that, to be even better. We've, you know, we do a lot of data analysis, and our analyst Harry is, it gives us all the stats of what we're very good at, what we're not very good at, and you know we're really concentrating on on being better at the things we can improve and control. And you know, I'm really looking forward to the next batch of games.